Oh dear. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of a Mail Time Vlog. Today we are doing an unboxing of um, some things that I have gotten in recent history, and um, <clears throat> I wanted to kind of unbox them and talk about them. Okie dokie. So, how is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. But before we start this little unboxing, we're going to share this with our friends so that they can come and hang out with us too. At this time, I would encourage you to come and share these with your friends so that they can also come and hang us to hang out with us too. Blah, 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 blah. Words. At this time, I would encourage... Oh, shut up. <laughs> Okay, so copy that. Uh, I need to make mail time vlog. Oh yeah. Alright, we're gonna share this out to the Pinterest <coughs> and the Tumblr and the LinkedIn and the Facebook and the Reddit. And the blogger. Oh, excuse me. I've been yawning all day. <coughs> okay, now that we have all of that shared out with all of our friends, let's do an unboxing. So, a uh, couple of weeks ago, I saw that Fountain Pen Revolution. <clears throat> Got a new type of a nib housing. So I took it out of the package and I wanted to make sure that it wrote because I didn't want to give it negative review. So the nib housing came sort of like this. This is my Leonardo Memento Zero. Uh, my, my Leonardo Memento Magico nib. And I found out that this is the only pen that I have that takes a Yovo nib housing. I didn't know that at the time. I thought that the Conklins took Yovo nib housings, but they do not. So, great, fantastic. It was rather upsetting. <clears throat> but I'm glad that it's in this one and not in a Conklin because you can't prime a Conklin as easy as you can this. So it comes with a sticker. Uh, I'm sorry, it comes with the um, little card that says thank you for your purchase for your next 15% off discount code blah 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 blank on the back and they give you a cute little fountain pen revolution sticker which is always wonderful huge thanks goes out to Kevin for sending this out and I got this package here that I have not opened this is from pen friend Gary Scott so thank you so much Gary I'm going to be gentle because it's paper and I don't want to rip the paper with my little slice. Can I have some, please? Okay. Wow, they really did a good job at um, packaging this. Put it in a cardboard and everything. It says, thank you. One Nanami 7Cs A5 White 68 GSM Tomoe River Paper Pad. Wow, they did a, a good job of this uh, packaging. Wow. Oh, and a cute little sticker. Super cute. A little dog in a floating device holding a lollipop wearing glasses. That's just incredible. Ugh. 
So for those of you who don't know, I already have one of these. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I told him not to buy me one, but he did it anyway. <clears throat> okay, we're going to see if this is, if the paper has changed. I don't think it has. So, we're going to see. Ooh, nice white paper. Same white paper. I think it is anyway. So we're going to try out our new nib. Do these look different colored? No, they look the same to me. Anami. Seven C's, sixty-eight, Tomoe River, okay. see if this is the same stuff. I think it is, but we're going to see. You're not going to believe me when I tell you this, but this one is rougher than this one. Okay. New Tomoe River, old Tomoe River, they look the same. Yep, they look the same. So I can't tell the difference. Hi, Wumble Bumblebee. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? Okay, so. <clears throat> I already, already planned to send Gary <laughs> the remainder of my pad so I'm gonna stick that in there and that's gonna go to Gary <laughs> well, there you go Gary Merry Christmas Happy New Year I sent you a little card and everything keeping the new one so there <laughs> I'm good just got a new pad of paper and a new nib unit okay so here's where 
We're really going to test this stuff out. Let's get down here so we can see. Zoom in a little bit. Um, it's a fountain pen revolution ultra flex nib. It's got a plastic housing and it only fits Yovo nib units. So if you have this type of a, u a unit and it's got the uh, that bulky bit on the end here and it is housed with the keyed section, uh, the nib housing, keyed nib housing. So I did look at I have Conklin pens here. <clears throat> These do not fit into that housing. The threads are different. They might not look different, but I can tell you that these ones here are a lot more th thicker than the ones on here. So they don't fit together. Which sucks, because I would really have liked to use it on other <sighs> nib housings, but whatever. Maybe if they would just make a Yovo flavored ultra flex nib that would be nice but the nib housings are different and I don't know why why you gotta be different you don't love so at any rate Just to make sure, unscrew the nib housing. Nope, it's different. I could tell just by looking at it. Oh well, that's too bad. Too bad. How is your homework coming along, Andy? Have you finished your homework? What kind of pen is your new one? It's not a pen. It was just the nib housing. So this is a nib housing. This, this black part is a nib housing. This metal part is the nib, and this is the feed. So... But this is the only pen that it fits in. This is a Leonardo Memento Magico in emerald. And this was the only one that it fits in. So. does railroad and stop moving so
It does recover relatively fast, but I don't know. I'd much rather have it in a pen that I can prime the feet if I need to. So, a sexy flexi, right? Exactly. So, it does flex a lot and it does go through a lot of ink, but it takes a, a second to recover. See, it does run out a little bit. It has to be brought back to the, to the feed, which <clears throat> this one is really doing a pretty good job, I gotta tell you. And you can kind of tell when the color changes to a lighter flavor. That's about when it's getting ready to railroad. But that is a lot of ink. That is a lot of ink. Like, that's just a lot of ink. <laughs> and it does matter the ink. Because the first ink that I tried in it was Noodler's Navajo. Turquoise. Noodler's Navajo Turquoise is one of my wettest inks. And I know that if it works with that, it can deal with just about anything. And um, so it worked with that one. And then what did I put in it? I put. I put Troublemaker Abalone in it, and um, it seized up really bad. So it was being a troublemaker, and so I washed that out of it, and I put, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. I put Diamine Rider's Blood. Because Kathy says that it's one of the wettest stinks, so I'm going to have to trust her brilliant knowledge and take her word for it. But so far, it has not failed me. And that's what we're using tonight, right now. So this is... Railroading. And it does skip. So, hi, Will. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? I think an ebonite feed would help. Nope, it doesn't. It actually made it worse. <clears throat> I have an fpnibs.com ebonite feed, and I put the ebonite, f ebonite feed in there, and it absolutely stopped. I don't know why. But the... Um, the feed on this one keeps up pretty good as long as you don't go super fast and as long as you're not overflexing. I tend to overflex like Oh, maybe not.
So it, it, it doesn't railroad when I don't flex it, but you guys know me. I am like Flex Master 2000. Yeah, but this is a Yovo nib. It's not a... The um, Ebonite feed units are for, for Fountain Pen Revolution pens. For the for Fountain Pen Revolution Darjeeling and the Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur. But this is different. I wonder if the Jaipur nib is a Yovo nib. Nope, it isn't. So... But this is a, a special unit just for Yovo nib housing. But this is the only nib housing, this is the only nib, this is the only pen I have with the Yovo <laughs> nib apparently. Other than my pens of pen serendipity, but I'd only get like two strokes out of that before I need to re-dip, which it would not be productive to the cause. Anyway, <clears throat> well, is this dry? That's dry. Okay, so huge thanks thanks to Gary For the paper, I am going to send you the rest of that other one. So, look forward to that. Huge thanks goes out to Kevin from Fountain Pen Revolution for sending me the nib. I am definitely going to try some different inks out before I make a definitive answer of whether this is probably the best pen. I definitely would encourage if you do have a, a pen that you're thinking about buying this nib housing for, let it be one with a Yovo piston. See, because even then I, I just have to twist the back end of it and I get more ink. And I don't have to really uh, take apart the pen, prime the feed, put the pen back together, and then get back into the flow. The flow is gone by that time. So, yes, I love the Memento Magical. Just look at the Chatoyants. It's just fracking amazing. Like, I wish that they would have put the Chatoyants on the top of the pen. It's on the side of the pen, which I kind of understand. They don't want people to get too distracted. Because I would just sit there and stare at it all day. But I'm kind of glad that it's on the sides and it does, it's not too distracting. So, anyway. It's beautiful for doing calligraphy.
Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it always takes it out of me. All right, well, that's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Please check out my uh, my new website. Thank you. Check out the Discord. I will put a link to the Discord in the doobly-doo. So if you want to come and hang out with some like-minded people, share your calligraphy, share your whatever you're into. Where is the stupid link? Oh, there it is. Uh, share, uh, share with us your fountain pens, your calligraphy. If you have funny stuff that you see on the internet, come check it out. I'm always curious to see what silly things are going on the internet these days. Check out the Patreon. You can join for as low as one dollar a month. Or if you want to take the calligraphy class. We have been doing classes every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific. So come check that out. We're having a lot of fun over there. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye. Have a great day.